okay, I'm really excited about this because Sterling.com sent me this little steam engine. So it's a really cool little kid. I, I would have loved to have something like this when I was a kid. It's really nicely made and presented. Solid brass piece. There are a ton of parts. Look at all the screws and parts. It's all brass. So let's go and put this together. that way. There we go. I don't have any alcohol, so I'm gonna put some gaslight antifreeze in here and just see what happens. I think it's lit. Yep, yeah, it's lit. I can barely even see it. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. Okay, I don't recommend using the torch because I'm outside. I need a little more heat. Looks like we're almost got some steam. Just running on the it's just running on the alcohol now.
So this DC brush motor is representing our steam engine. And it was supposed to turn this generator and then charge up our LiPo. So the current is going to come out of our cassette motor. It's going to go through the diode. It's only going to allow the current to flow in one direction. And it goes to these capacitors. Now these are just random capacitors on here. And then I connected a USB plug. Power bank module attached to a LiPo. So if we plug in this power bank module, hopefully we can charge this LiPo. And the light is flashing now, so it's putting a charge into the LiPo. So I thought I had the perfect generator for the steam engine. But unfortunately, even this cassette motor, which is not even a regular brushed motor, it actually has very little cogging compared to this motor. So this motor is much easier to spin than this one, but it just was too much torque on the steam engine. So even though I picked a very good motor for our steam engine, I think the belt combination isn't working. If this was directly hooked to it, it might be better, but we need to get more RPMs. I'm going to have to modify the steam engine, or I'm going to have to build a steam engine that will work for this setup.